Hey guys and welcome to Fishing Planet, the first like tutorial series I'm going to be doing. This is aimed at the base player that's first going onto the game. So, without doing it, Recon told me, hey, you did a real good job so it boosted my spirits. So thank you buddy if you're watching this. Missouri, your home state. So I never mentioned when I, in my first looks video, you can move them. So I don't know if you get cheaper rates, I do not know. I kind of wish the home state may be real cheap or free to travel, because my way of thinking is, you're there. Why really would travel cost? I don't know. It used to be free, then the update came out, then it wasn't. I don't know. So we're going to go there. And the travelling does take a little bit of time sometimes. And what we're going to do is the base person is how can you level up the quickest to get to more areas that's the big thing that was for me I'm gonna base these on not so much a fisherman's point of view but more of a beginners point of view because the game does seem kind of floating and like it's daunting what do you do so we'll get the HUD back up there we go Alright, so we're at Missouri. This is my favourite spot. We're at 5am. So, you bring up your inventory, you're basically going to have a very similar setup to me in as far as rod, hook, float, bobber, and line, to a degree. What you're going to want to do for the first little while is set up worms, 19 inches, like it says in the tutorial, and just cast out, and we'll see what we'll get. We'll get up to the water and we shall get our proper rod out that we're using. Set the drag a little lower and just throw it out. And we sit and wait. So you'll watch the bobber over on the right hand side. It'll start twitching and twitching and twitching. You want to wait until it starts going under, under like the level line, or lean flat over. And hopefully it's going to do it as it is moving right now. You you want to not strike when it's not really moving, like you see it moving now on the water. Like now is the perfect time. And bam, straight away, bluegill. Keep doing that for a little while. Get your money. But make sure, so I didn't mention, and I'm kind of kicking myself now. Before, you're, before you are out here, like I said in the first video, make sure you have yourself a stringer of some sort. So if you go up into the shop here, that if you find yourself, hey, I don't have one, you can go to the shop, go to tools, landing nets, the short one, it's only 10 bucks, make sure you get that. You can see here, single fish of £2, perfect for what you're going to be doing right now, total weight £7. This is the thing you want to upgrade the quickest out of everything. Upgrade that, the more fish you can have very early on, the more money you will make. Obviously, you can see, I've got quite a bit up there now. So do that. But once you get up your levels, this is where I'll change it up fairly quick. I want to keep these videos kind of short. Is move to my spinning rod setup. This is my sort of float rod. Do that for a while, then progress up into a spinning setup. So a rod of your choice, a rail of your choice, and line again. It's your choice. I used braid to begin with, and then thanks to the team speak that I do recommend you going on and sign up to the forum Floro, it's clear fish aren't going to see it as easy I was using braid and mono, I believe you get mono to begin with so it's fine, slow is green it'll do you fine for now um, and then you want to look by using your gold I believe it's one of these bass jigs now sorry but I can't remember which one it is so we'll just get rid of this and this. Oh, we'll put, I believe it's this one. But look for a bass jig and it's, it uses gold. And let's put that over. And you just cast that out. And I found the hot spot. That may not be great right now. But if you look at the tip of the rod, it is over by the edge of that canoe. Follow the line across over in these reeds here. We'll just cast out over there. And what I found is 
just reel in, maybe even turn the speed down a little using your mouse wheel, and just twitch. Let it sink a little, and twitch again. Nine times out of ten, you get a hit, turn the drag down again. Every time you go in your inventory, the drag goes back up, so watch out for that, kind of irritating. But they may address it. So nothing there. This is very early in the day too. We'll hit it out again. Let it sink. Bring it up and let it sink. We may have to bring it up a day. I did find between 10 and 11 o'clock was the peak time if you like. Yeah, still nothing. It's probably gonna make a liar of me. What we'll do is we'll hit T, we'll fast forward it a couple of hours. Three being in total. And we'll get the black screen and let it load up. Now we should the water's warming up a little, seventy three up the top. Something I do wish they do is do a hybrid system. Here in the UK we use mile an hour for speed, centigrade for uh, temperature, and I believe we use pounds for the weight. I don't believe we use kilo for like fishing kind of scenarios. Just jigging, uh, maybe faster speed. I believe it's going to make a complete liar out of me. And just keep casting, it will come. I'm pretty sure this is the one I was using. There we go, we've got a fish on here, here we go. Good one of that by the looks of it. And there you go. 9 XP. We'll just hit keep. And we'll pop open our inventory. Go over to this icon here, that's uh, fish keeping it. And you can see we've got the bluegill, we've got the largemouth bass, reward, 14 XP. Unfortunately, the XP system, as it stands, they are working on it, will be rebalanced. I'm hoping coming up this weekend they'll redo it, because right now it's very off-putting to get to the higher levels. But they know that, so I really won't say much more about it. So that's really where you want to start off. If you want to get more, let's say, exotic in your fish, if we just take a little stroll over here. Now, I know you guys pretty much have seen this in the first video I made on this game. We'll uh, come down here and find our dog food, or pet food as it calls it. We'll take off our worms, we'll put on, grow up, come on now, our pet food. And we'll put the... Float up to around 85, 80 to 90, anywhere in that ballpark, you're good. And we'll go fishing for catfish. Now what you want to do is kind of get a look at the tip of the rod, roughly where that yellow kayak, canoe, whatever you want to call it is, and just use the right rod. Just toss it out. And the water current is moving from left to right, so this direction
and it will just float across. And you can see it's been nibbled there. Just wait. And wait. And wait. See these long clips like this, I'll probably just split and get straight to the action. See some bit of some movement there. And nothing. Guess this is why it's called fission. Probably because I got so lucky in the first video I did. Oh, that was a good hit. See, right now if I strike it'll probably be too early. I feel I need to have, should have said, there we go. Just a small guy, but here we have a channel catfish. So here's the main three, three fish that I have personally caught. You get over ones down up in the shallows. The bass are over there to the left of the green boat. And the catfish are just over here by the log pile. But like I say, cast and just let it drift. But that's a fish, and that's in this lake that I've personally caught so far, in this section. Just to show you what section it is again. Last song of summer, over here, you can tell by the picture, you can see the boats, and we have another section over here that I really... Pike challenge, I'm not sure if there's pike in this lake yet. I really don't. I've not really fished a whole lot over here, so I don't know. So guys, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope it was... Intuitive enough? Intuitive? I don't know. Hope you guys learned something. <laughs> Catch you guys next time for another fishing video. See ya.